Uh, hi guys, this is uh, Wargames Guru here, and I've got a little of uh, a different unboxing for you. Um, I'm getting into Langton uh, 1 1200th Napoleonic ships, and I've done an order. And I thought what I'd do is I'd actually show you uh, what happens when the order turns up and what to expect from this company. And this company is it's been going for many, many years, and they've got a great reputation. There's several different manufacturers and models out there for this, but I went with Langtons because, you know, unequivocally, everybody says they're the best. So this is what turned up today. So this is the box that turned up now. What did I drop then? Something then. wasn't anything to do with this. Oh, one second, thank you. Okay, so this is the box that turned up now. I've done a lot of research on what rules to go with, and I decided to go with the uh, signal close action fast play rules. Uh, which is um, by Langtons themselves, um, Rod Langtons uh, series of sailing war games rules, which are very, very good. I've heard great reviews about them, and they seem to be a little bit more detailed, which is what I'm really after. So um, I bought these. Uh, they were £14. Uh, they've turned up like this in this packet, as you can see. Um, everything in this box is very well um, packaged. And one thing I loved about it was I spoke to the lady there, uh, Carol, and she was very, very helpful. It's one of those small companies that are really helpful with you uh, when you ring up, especially if you're a bit of an idiot like me and doesn't know a lot. So you've got some ability charts there, look, uh, some optional markers, memory aids, etc. to play by your ships. Um, say the signal closer, uh, ability chart, uh, sequence of play, turning circles, wind indicators, angle of fire, um, alternative aid for firing arc indicator. Uh, so you've got all your, your basic sort of wargamey bits there. And then there's the rule set, um, which uh, is nicely produced, it looks nice. Uh, seems to have 41 pages of rules. Um, and basically, it's got getting started, vessel statistics, game sequence, ability chart speed turning movement collisions etc gunnery and fire ships boarding morale victory conditions uh, there's an appendix there as well which is options to alter the wind conditions during the game uh, which could be really useful it's great for war games for the conditions to, to change um, and option to play solo carronade armed vessels um, uh, options to use signals options to use unrated vessels and running ex ex example option to play solo against carronade armed vehicles. That's interesting. So it's a game you can actually possibly play solo. Um, I'll get back to you on that once I've examined the rules a little bit more clearly. Uh, but as you can see, they're very well uh, written, laid out. The quality is excellent. Um, everything looks sort of straightforward. I'd imagine it's quite a, a, a slightly complex game to get into, but this is the fast play. This is the, uh, the set of rules, which is uh, for people like myself that want that level of detail so it feels like a Napoleonic battle, um, a Napoleonic sailing battle, but still gives you uh, the um, uh, ability to play it in, a, in an evening at the club um, and to obviously uh, play it with people that perhaps aren't into the period or, or have done it before. So that's what I went for. I went for Signal Close Action, the Fast Play Edition, which is £14. Pounds. Um, so I'll give you an up-to-date review on those when me and Andy have uh, played with them. And then continuing in the box, the second thing I decided to get was this. It's the assembly, painting and rigging uh, of Napoleonic Naval Models uh, in scale 1 1200th by Langton Miniatures. And again, it's something that I thought I would get because, um, you know, I, I'm, you're going to spend a lot of money on these ships and I like a little bit of detail and I want it to be correct. So um, it was £14 for this as well, but I'm hoping it's to be money well spent because strangely enough, even when you Google things on the internet, uh, about this period, about these ships, there's a lot of conflict in information, and there's not that many great sort of diagrams and stuff out there. So, this I'm hoping will probably be invulnerable to me. There's a little note in here: guide to only sail settings, page six. Okay. So again, this is ring bound. It's, quality is lovely. It's great sort of uh, sort of tough material. Um, it was done by Rod Carroll and Brad of Langton Miniatures. Um, now this is good because this has got all the cells. Now you don't have to rig these ships, but I think it adds quite a lot to them if you do. Um, so this has got like your sail settings, what they mean. There's a little diagram here that shows you what they mean for people like me that haven't got a clue. Um, uh, all plain sail, full sail. Uh, the various different ways that they used to put gull wings out. Uh, there's also the painting, 
um, uh, painting guide from them for the period. Because uh, everybody thinks the Spanish ships are red, uh, French ships are blue, British ships are yellow or checkered, and, and that's simply not the case. Uh, red, blues, blacks, uh, yellows uh, were used by all nations, and most ships were left natural wood and black. So, you know, it, was, it wasn't until really till, uh, Trafalgar on was they, they started to get uh, a uniform uh, setting. So this, these type of things are good uh, for helping you out with that. Um, so it says here, lower mast. Some pictures show lower mast in a light colour, sometimes white. However, the French vessels lower mast were painted black in home waters, as were their upper mast. When in warmer waters, they sometimes painted their lower mast white and varnished the upper mast. See, stuff like that, I wouldn't know, unless I did loads of research on Google and I just haven't got the time to do it. Um, you've got the hull there, the whole bulwarks, what they should be, what sort of colours, uh, skylightings, uh, hammock nettings. I mean, this is, this, this is the sort of thing that somebody like Rod and the team at Langton have, have been doing for years. They, they know the knowledge, and this is, uh, this is invaluable to someone like me. See, look, there's all the... The different um, sort of hull depictions. Um, excellent. This is going to be really, really useful. And I will do some painting guides uh, videos for you to sort of help help you and me, really. But again, really good investment, I think, on that one. Very pleased with that. So then, getting down to the nitty gritty, which all the ball gamers really love, is what's in the box. So let's have a look. So the box comes very well packed. I've had a little look at this. That's why it's looking a little bit sort of uh, messy and stuff from all over the place. But this was very well packed by Carol, the lovely lady at Langton's. And inside I got the rat lines. Now the rat lines are falling out all over the place. The rat lines are the, are the lines that run up the side of the ship which allow the crew to go up and down, change the sails, etc. And I'm going to hold those up there and hopefully the camera will zoom in. You can see the detail in there. You know, you could, you years ago you used to make these out a bit of netting and stuff and they were awful. These things are just amazing now so they're, they're really useful I mean, like two quid that's just great great value for that um, so they're the rat lines they all come in different sizes with the ship so if you order a frigate or obviously you've got all of the rat lines for a frigate um, that makes perfect sense doesn't it so that's that um, let me put the box over to the side a little bit uh, so then 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 came a big decision for me do I go for the white metal sails or do I go for the brass sails the brass sails look wonderful uh, they were very fiddly to use. They look um, they look like they're going to take a lot of work to get to look right. But also, what I was really surprised at is that I was told that the, the white sails by people are oh, a bit chunkier, they're a bit more uh, bigger and all the rest of it. Um, having said that, I spoke to Carol and she kind of steered me right for my requirements. I mean, I'm a war gamer, but I'm also a modeler. But I wanted um, a set of sails which would look good, but not kill me in making um, just fill these out here now I was expecting when people were telling me that these things were big and thick I was expecting something to be quite horrendous that is awesome that is not what I was expecting that is lovely it's thin it's small it's it's you know this is a little frigate and that is fantastic and I haven't got to muck around trying to sort out brass sails um, and they look to me um, you know it's just my opinion They've got a lovely shape to them, they look billowy, you know, they really look like the proper thing. So I personally have decided to go with um, the, the pre-made sails uh, and they're going to fulfil everything I need them to do. So them, everybody's obviously got their own um, reasons for using different things. And the detail on these sails is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm really surprised at how great they are. They're really, really nice. I've been told that these Langton miniatures were good, and when they turned up, I was absolutely, you know, blown away. Um, I was blown away so much that I immediately did another order and ordered a load more ships. So, so the sails all come in the sizes depending on the ship. So you buy the model, you buy the hull, then you buy the sails, uh, then you buy your rat lines, bases, etc. Uh, so the whole ship, I've worked out the whole ship to be around about 13, 14 quid. Uh, which you know, for a model of this quality is, is is great and the one good thing about things like lanterns is that they never go down in value you know you're never going to lose uh, your value on these I managed to buy a couple on eBay um, that somebody was selling and I got them for sort of like you know ten pound cheaper than I would have got them but they're very, they don't come up on eBay you, you know you're going to have to buy them from lanterns 
and uh, do so because we need to support these companies they're great companies um, and they're still there so the hull here is NF18 this is a French frigate um, I like I like the small ships I like the little frigate actions the uh, you know when when a couple of frigates met a couple of other frigates and a bit of a row but that is just you know the incredible the detail on this beautiful absolutely beautiful um, come in two parts there's the back part that goes on there and the front and the back part is, is really you know lovely detail I mean look at those little windows and stuff in there I just focus that oh that's great isn't it but I wanted to do this to, to, to give you a size indication of these models so that you can actually um, see I'm trying to see how this fits on there I can't oh there you go oh look at that it's amazing um, so that's that they're absolutely gorgeous like I say very impressed when they turned up the service you get from Langtons is, is superb they're very uh, very um, helpful you know I rang up and I'm a bit of an idiot I'm like oh I need this I need that I don't know what sales I need I don't know and Carol was fantastic with me on the phone she really helped me out um, these are the little rowboats um, like I say I bought uh, some French and British frigates um, to complete my beginning setup and then as soon as these arrived I actually rang up the company and ordered uh, a load more ships and spent a load more money which I want to tell the wife about um, these are the bases that I've got as well uh, I'm not going to skimp around trying to make little cardboard bases and paint them up these things are brilliant two pounds each and you get a fully textured resin base you know, C's on there. You can put the name on the back, the ship fits on there, job done. You buy like 10 of these, or sorry, I think they're £1.75 each. This is the, you know, this is just quality stuff. Uh, this is this is this is what I wanted to do. So they're absolutely lovely. And they're in there as well. So I've ordered um I think that's also an old phone nothing away. Brilliant. Oh, look, a little thing saying thank you for your order. How sweet is that? So I've ordered as well, on, on top of all this, I've ordered some uh, ensigns, uh, some flags. I've gone for British Blue, which was a, a period that I liked, the 1790s. Uh, the Admirals of the Blue. And um, I've got some white as well for, for Trafalgar. Uh, I'm not obsessed with Trafalgar like a lot of people. I, I, I like a lot of the other actions, you know, like the... the um, uh, the the Aubrey type stuff from the novels and things like that so a couple of frigates fighting each other uh, that type of thing so what I'm going to do everybody I'm going to crack on with these over the next few weeks um, I'll do a little painting and building guide I'll, I'll show you what mistakes I've made and how I've cocked a lot of them up and then how I've rectified it um, and then hopefully we'll have some finished models at the end of it and I can save you guys a lot of time and perhaps turn you into a little bit of this kind of thing this uh, naval history that uh, I think is possibly making a resurgence um, but it really should. I mean, it's a great game to play as well. So that's what I'm going to do. And then me and Andy and a couple of the guys down the club at SSWG, we're going to have a couple of games. I'll film them. I'll talk through the rules, uh, come up with any little bits and pieces that we're, we're interested in. But I just want to say, from my point of view, Wargames Guru, Langton Miniatures, absolutely thumbs up. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed this review. Check out some more. And don't forget to like and subscribe.